Hi everyone, this is Bryn. Today we're looking at how to update firmware in the RemoView P1. Keeping the firmware up to date allows you to take advantage of any new features and improvements that occur, as well as bug fixes to keep the product running as smoothly as possible. It's really easy, here's what to do. The first thing is to go to the RemoView website. From the main page, click on support, and then on firmware. This will take you to available firmware updates for all RemoView products. Choose the product you want to update, in this case the P1. The latest available version shown here is 1.1.1, which has support for GoPro Hero 4 version 3 firmware, as well as fixing some connectivity issues. Here you can see details of the improvements and fixes from previous firmware updates, all of which should also be available in the latest version. When you're ready, click on this box. That will take you to the download page. You'll find instructions on how to install the firmware on the P1. There's also some precautions to be aware of, such as to make sure that the P1 is fully charged, or at least a minimum of two bars on the battery indicator before attempting a firmware update. Also, that the .bin firmware file needs to be unzipped first. Go ahead and click on this download icon, and the firmware folder will be saved to your computer. Go to the downloaded folder on your computer, open the folder and unzip the contents by clicking on Extract All. Make sure you save the unzipped file to a new folder. Now open the USB reset cover on the P1 and plug the small end of the USB cable that came with the P1 into the USB port. Then plug the other end into a spare USB port in your computer. Now power on the P1 by pressing and holding the M button on the side for a few seconds. Note that the current firmware version will show briefly on the startup screen. You now have 90 seconds to copy the extracted .bin file to the P1. Your computer will recognise the P1 storage, but it will vary by name from one computer to another. In my case, it's removable disk L. Simply copy and paste the .bin file to the root level of the P1 storage. Once that's done, unplug the USB cable from the P1 and then power off the unit by pressing and holding the M button again. Now you need to power the P1 back on to reboot. The firmware update will be recognised and installation will begin. Once that's finished, you'll get a message indicating that the firmware update has been successful and the P1 will power itself off again. Now, when you turn on the P1, the start screen will show the new firmware version and build model. You can get on with using the RemoView P1 and take advantage of anything that the new firmware has to offer. But don't forget to check back at the RemoView website every now and then to see if there's been any new developments. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow. And if you haven't done so already, why not subscribe to Bryn Mag Productions to be notified when we upload new videos. You can also follow us on social media. The links are in the description below. Until next time, this is Bryn.
Thanks for watching.